everybody, welcome back to Video Game SO. Today I got a fun and exciting episode for you guys this evening because a few days ago an English translation for Racing Battle C1 Grand Prix came out. It's a 2005 racing game from Genki on the PlayStation 2. And while you could play it in the past, honestly the menu system and every other detail was so complex and so in Japanese it was really hard to actually understand what you would be doing in any single race. But thankfully Igor Siz777, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, has come through with a partial translation of this game, making it so much easier to actually enjoy and understand what you're doing. Before we get too far involved, though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe, and ring that notification bell, definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined to watch part of the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But I remember some years ago trying to play Racing Battle as well, and I basically used my phone and Google Translate as a live view to try to understand the menu system, and most importantly, the instructions on what you're doing in any given race. Because these races are not A to B, start to finish, try to get in first place for the most part. There's a very deep, complex system here in Racing Battle, and not being able to understand what's being asked of you means that you can play the game, but you're probably not going to be very successful. And this is Gran Turismo levels of deep as far as the menu news and systems are concerned, but of course unlike Gran Turismo it was only in Japanese leaving this really hard to understand for native English speakers. So that is why it's so awesome to get an English translation patch for this, and honestly it's been a pretty hot streak for translations patches, just getting Capcom vs SNK 2000 Pro on the Dreamcast in full English as well. And of course, if you know me and you know the channel, you know I love a racing game, and while I'm more partial to the arcade-style racing experiences, Racing Battle C1 Grand Prix is a fun sim-style game. You'll see here, all of the menus have been translated over, so you have English in pretty much everything. There may have been a few bits of English in the original game, but it's been so long since I tested that and played around with it, I can't remember. So if you do, leave me a comment down below. But you're going to see you have all of these different assist options, all many different options here to basically make the game do whatever it is you'd like it to do. But of course, now with English, it's going to be a lot easier to actually set that up. And I would say that I absolutely love the visual stylings of this game. Obviously, I'm enhancing it with PCSX2, and I actually like that look better than stock hardware, but you can do whatever you'd like. And honestly, if you have the ability to get an ISO into your PS2, you can play this on original hardware as well. But I think for the most part, 99 out of 100 of you are going to be playing this via emulation. And that's why I wanted to showcase this here, to tell you that you can play it even if you don't have a PS2 that's modded to play backups or other games off of a hard drive. But as we kind of race around here, I just love what this game does. Genki made a great racer, and it's been a game that I really wanted to spend more time with, but like I said previously, the menu system and the directions on what each individual race is actually doing were impenetrable if you didn't speak or read Japanese, because every single event comes with a video and basically explains how you actually win. There's three different battle types, SP, RP, and DP, and you have to defeat your rivals depending on what you need to do in a particular race. And like I said, that was very hard to understand, and Google Translate, while an effective tool, never really was able to get enough of the information to really understand what was going on. Now do be aware this translation is not 100% complete. Some of the BBS posts that give you a little bit of flavor text are still in Japanese, but I'm sure that will get buttoned up soon. But what is on offer here makes the game 100% playable, 100% understandable, and 200% more enjoyable. Yes, I'm just playing around with the numbers because you guys think I say 100% a little bit too much. I probably do. But as you see this racing line here, you can turn that off. You can turn assist on or off. You can do whatever you want with your vehicle, making this game harder or easier to play. Because like I said, it is very sim heavy. And you'll see here in the SP battle, you now have text explaining what it actually means. Before, this was something that you would just run around the track and you would never be sure what it was that you were actually doing. With all of these explanations, the game becomes infinitely more playable and more enjoyable. And trust me, like I said, if you've never played this game before, I would totally put it up there in the racing hidden gems on any platform, especially PlayStation 2. And this speed blur effect you can 100% turn off in the menu. I will show you how to do that in just a little bit. But this game is just so much fun. For a sim driving game, it really does do it for me. And again, this is not the genre that I usually gravitate towards. I played a bunch of Gran Turismo games and I love them, but I'm an arcade racer at heart. It's also got a great soundtrack, so go ahead and listen for 45 seconds and I'll come back and show you more about the overall translation. But enjoy!
Great music, great sound effects, and really just does drive home that racing intensity. And you'll see here on all of the different specs for the vehicles, it's going to be in English as well. So you're going to understand more about your car selection. And there's an awesome roster of licensed vehicles in here, as well as real world locations, at least as far as I can tell and remember. And you can just basically go into challenge mode, or you can just go into free run mode and rip it up on the course and just kind of get a better understanding of the turns and overall layout. Because once you get deeper into this game, it becomes very difficult. You're going to have to race a perfect line if you want to see any sort of progress but that really is the hook in games like this these sort of simi games you have to go in you have to learn everything you have to get better at them and you have to progress and of course in the actual campaign mode you're going to have a garage and you'll be able to purchase new better vehicles as you move on so really this is just Gran Turismo from a different developer and it's every bit as good as that franchise in my opinion but leave me a comment down below and tell me what your favorite sim style racing game is for me, I would probably say Gran Turismo is very high up there, but honestly, it's not a genre I spend all that much time with. But now that this game is translated into English, it is a game that I'm going to be spending a lot more time with in the future. Because I've always wanted to play this, I've always wanted to better understand it, and I've always wanted to get deeper into it. Because there's a lot of complex, dense arcade and sim racing games in Japan on consoles that never came over to North America. And if you need the text to understand what you're doing, it's basically impossible. It's not to the RPG level of you'll have no idea what's going on, but it definitely gets up there because you know what you need to do to get around a racetrack. You hold down the gas and you use the analog to turn, but anything beyond that, if the game has special type of modes or races, you're just really not going to understand what there is to do. And that was definitely the example and instance of this game. Sure, you could get around the track, but sometimes you'd do it in the wrong way and you would end up getting no experience points because honestly, that is just how the game works. We just finished up with the free run here and you'll see we have 48 unread posts on the bbs board some of them are in english right now some of them are not because there is an absolute metric crap ton of words in this game it is so dense it's so complex but you'll see here if we go to some of the menus we're going to still be in japanese if we go to other menus we're going to be in english and i know on the github pages the developer and patcher of this says he's going to go back in and try to finish everything else up because you'll see here at least on the new lineup side we do have that english language and that is just fun i love getting new games that we can more enjoy and before you leave the comment down below just learn japanese not everybody is going to be able to do that or have the time to do that it is a common comment and honestly if i had the brain space to do it it's something i would definitely love to do just not really in the cards for me at this point in time and that is why modders going in and doing these translation patches is so incredible and so fun they bring a new game to a wider audience and that's always something to appreciate and celebrate in video form and don't forget genki has a long and storied history in racing games with the tokyo extreme racer series just being one of the different projects they worked on and developed they make some amazing racing games i don't really feel like they get as much credit as they deserve but leave me a comment down below and tell me what your favorite genki racing game is for me it's definitely the tokyo series and of course it seems like we're going to be getting a new game in that franchise soon and if you do want to turn off that screen blur you'll see here in the menu and pause we have different options for adjusting steering braking and otherwise but if you go into screen you're going to see the screen effect at the bottom can be turned on it's a real love it or hate it thing. I don't mind it so much in some courses, but in other courses, it starts blurring things that don't really seem to need to be blurred. So you can kind of do with that as you will. But this is awesome to have in English. I love translation patches, especially for games like racing games where you would think they wouldn't really be necessary. Because clearly somebody out there enjoyed this game enough to go in and make it playable for a wider audience. You can find this game online, I really can't tell you where, but if your Google Foo is good, you'll be able to locate it, and trust me, it is definitely worth your time. It is such a fun game, and on PCSX2 with some enhancements, it really does play even better than original hardware in spots, in my opinion. And now, of course, you don't need to read Japanese to understand what the hell you're doing, and that is a 10 out of 10 bonus for those of us who don't read Japanese. But I've really been enjoying making these kind of modification videos and expect some more soon because it's pretty much every week we get an awesome new project and 2024 has been a very busy year for new mods, new translation, new fan games, so expect more of those. But trust me, run, don't walk, grab this game, play it in English, start learning it, and I think you're going to have an awesome time. Short of that, we are done. I'm going to keep racing and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.